Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we got something. Well, hopefully, it's going to be a really good one. Um, we're off to Brew York, and we've got a collaboration b- between Brew York and, <coughs> excuse me, Blues Smoked Meats. And we have a maple and cherry wood smoked barbecue porter. And it is a can of their Up in Smoke. Super smashing great. Clocking in at 5.1% ABV. There you go. Big fan of Brew York. Um, if you know, if you don't know me, boys and girls, I'm a big fan of Brew York. Um, love their beers and um, where I live, I can pretty much pick up all of them. Um, apart from one, the Imperial Tom Coco, which I had to go all the way down into York to pick one up, which is going to come up in a future review. I might review it tomorrow. Um, so. It says, brewed with our smokehouse partners, blue smoked meats to complement their fantastic array of barbecue treats. I just wish I had a barbecue steak with me here, just to drink it with, you know. Um, Up in Smoke is a smoked barbecue porter, large with flavours of US barbecue, maple and cherry wood smoke. It's a a cheeky, cheeky nod to a classic film that will have you um, changing back a few cans next to your barbecue. It sounds fantastic. We've got Chinook and Centennial in this. Now the malts, the malt build. Um, It says pale flaked oats, cherry wood smoked malt, chocolate malt, crystal 150, brown malt and roasted barley. It says uh, smokeness is three out of five. So there you go. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I hope it's going to be good. Let's crack this open. Like we do. This was purchased from Brew York's um, uh, brewery shop. Um, if I were you, if, if you live in the York area or, or you're planning to go to York for all these restrictions, I wouldn't really bother, to be honest. Um, if you want to order Brew York beers, I'll do it online. Don't go to the shop or the brewery because it's because of these restrictions. I think they've just kind of cut down on what they're selling. So the aroma. I get the maple syrup straight away. I'm not picking up much else, but is that a cherry wood type of aroma? No, it's more maple for me in the aroma. So let's put it in a glass and see what this one's all about. Um, Yeah, as I was saying, I think you'll find with a lot of restrictions in place that going to a, a brewery shop really isn't the best thing to do. It's the best thing to do is just order. Um, from uh, the brewery instead of visiting the brewery um so oh that looks nice that looks really nice so stick that there appearance slightly off-white head jet black that is jet black stick up to the light there's a slight shadow around it, but it is jet black. The aroma from the glass. Again, chocolate and maple syrup is coming out more than anything else. Nothing else there. I'm going to go in. So cheers, everybody. You pick up the smokeness. You pick up the bitterness. And once you swallow, you just let the taste hit your mouth. You get the smoky cherry wood feel to this. 
on the back end it just it just envelopes your whole mouth after you've you've initially had what you would say little porterish you know generic porterish flavors you start to get the smoky bitterness that's that's nice that is nice and i tell you what i'm looking at these burgers on this can and looking at a smoke meat i've got a smoker and looking at a smoke meat or or something like that and it is barbecued smoke in a can it is it is it is really nice it is it's they pulled it off they have um The aroma for me was very sweet and I thought all oh, this might be a very very sweet uh, porter but what you're getting is you know the maple syrupy feel in the aroma. As soon as you drink it though the bitterness kind of like transcends the smokeness in a way around the mouth. And it is really nice. It, they've done it. They've 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 hit the nail on the head um, for me. Um, Five point one. I think that is just the right strength for this beer. I think um, any weaker than five point one, I think that would be a little bit too thin. I don't think the bitterness and the, the smokeness would work very well. And I'll be trashing it. Stronger. I think it will be too thick. I think there'll be too much chocolate. Chocolate maltness for me in that. Um, but 5.1. Just the right strength. It's got the right mix. Of all them elements. Um, in the beer. The smokeness. There is a hint of chocolate in this. Not much. Cherry wood smokeness it's it's there it works very very well and i'll tell you what this beer is useless on its own it, it is for me this beer is a really good beer but drinking it and reviewing it like i am to you lot out there it's just about as useful as a broken pencil and the reason why i say that it's because you want a plate with a big slab of barbecue meat right in front of you to go with this. And I think it'll be absolutely divine. I think this beer is brewed for food. And for me to sit here on my own on a darkening night, waffling on, with no plate of barbecue food in front of me, is a bit silly. But um, it would be like it'd be like going out, going out at night wearing kind of like sunglasses, wouldn't it? Really, one more for the road. In the right environment, it's a belter. It's a belter for me now, but just with a bit of you know, you know, bit of meat, bit of meat. You know, we carnivores. <laughs> We are indeed. <laughs> We're carnivores. Boys and girls, Brew York and the Blues Meats Company, whatever I can't remember what it's called. That one there, up in smoke. It's going in there somewhere. Yeah. It's it works so well. It it does. It's doing what it says on the can again. That one seal moment which we all know and love. Thank you very much for watching this. You all stars. Um please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make them in the comments if you've had this before and it doesn't remind you of barbecue food at all. It reminds you of a 99p curry from Marston. Just walked in the microwave for about one minute and goes bing. Thank you very much as ever. See you on my next one.